Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do a reaction to Stargirl Season 2, Episode 4. I'm loving this season so far, so let's see what Episode 4 entails, and I'll be right back with my reaction. Put my headphones in. Okay, here we go right now. Go. Oh, prison. Hi, Dad. Hmm. How you doing, Artie? Hmm. A big ten. Hmm. Sweetie, you were gonna crush it. Hmm. Hmm. You're gonna be great. Hmm. I miss you. Hmm. Oh, sweetie. Hmm. I miss you too. Aww. Mom says she loves you. Aww. You tell your mother I love her. Uh, week after that. Oh. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, girl. Summer school. Why are we in danger? Who is Eclipso? Bad. Searching. 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 Mm. Searching. Mm. Oh, hey, honey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mom. Mm. Hey, hi. What? Didn't they close down? Well, they were going to. Mm. They came really close to calling it quits. They always had a good crowd. Mm. I wonder what happened. Yeah, been wondering the same thing myself. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. See you, Uh Bye, Mom. She's trying. I was up most of the night. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just, you know, I thought you should know everything. Mm. Yeah. What was that about Eclipso? Oh. How do you know about Eclipso? How do you know about Eclipso? <laughs> you first. Well, I don't know about him. Mm -hmm. Who is Eclipso? Mm. He's the devil in the shadows. Yep. Evil court. Real evil mm. imprisoned inside the black diamond. Mm. The one the shade's looking for. Bad things. Mm. To themselves and to others. Mm. But the JSA stopped Eclipso? Yeah, somehow they managed to, but mm. the longer Eclipso's active, the more powerful he becomes. Mm. Mom, don't worry. We got this. Ah. Court. No, Mom, I'll be smart. There's nothing online about Eclipso, so we'll do recon the old-fashioned way. Mm. Hitting the books. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh. Cindy. Is it Sylvia? Cindy? Sweetheart, is that you? Mom? Whoa. You're not gonna hurt me again, are you? Now! Whoa. She killed her mother. your birth mother I am only here to help I only desire what you desire <laughs> uh oh look at that there's Mike let's get back to work <laughs> and now I've got another one with parents in prison <laughs> now, I don't know who told you I said that but it just ain't true <laughs> okay no I got five now not four what is this? I can't eat this. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, as much as I'd like to, listen, you need to turn it down a notch, Missy, okay? Or else I'm not going to be accepting any more of those collect calls from the penitentiary. You got it? Oh, boy. Oh. My tryouts are today. What am I supposed to do for fuel? Whoa, look at that arm. He's the real deal. Some papers, okay. Married felons break out. <laughs> I'll take one of those. <laughs> ah! Are you sport? <laughs> Here's a tip. Don't try and run from us. Because you can't. <laughs> That's a good tip. <laughs> Jesus. What is that? <laughs> the only piece of fresh fruit in this place? An apple? Considered a peace offering for the misunderstanding with the hockey stick. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for the situation that you're in. Mm. I can't imagine how tough that must be. What situation? Oh, um, you know, the... Don't bring it up. ...situation that you, er, um... <laughs> Everyone's mocking us now. Ah. But we Crocs don't forgive. Ah. And we don't forget. Jesus Christ. Oh! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Boy, she's got anger issues. Yes. I'm smart. I told you. I studied. Exactly. Um, Mr. Tyler. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Mm. Oh, okay. Eat by yourself. Hi, Isaac. Yes, I am back <laughs> for my trip abroad. Ah. And it is so wonderful to see you. <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to tell you how much I've admired your musical talents. Really? You noticed me? <laughs> how could I not? Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> Listen, I know what you're going through mm. with your mom dying from that awful hunting accident. Really? I lost my parents too. Mm. That's a long story. Horribly. Mm. <laughs> Have one new voice message. Hey, Dad, um, some of your old friends are back in town. We're down at the pit stop and they want to talk. <laughs> mm. Mike. Hey there, Pat. Uh. Mike, you okay? He's fine. Mm. Hey, Dan. <laughs> Crusher, what are you doing here? Nice landing. We. You really stuck that landing. <laughs> <laughs> You break out of prison? My daughter has tryouts today. You can't miss that. You can't, can we, babe? <laughs> ah. Here's the deal. You help us lay low until tryouts this afternoon, and we'll break back into prison afterwards. Without incident. Mm. Right after our daughter kills it. On the field. Mm. Would you? Mm. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Let's go watch some football. Yeah. They tried to kill us. Ah. She almost killed me. If it wasn't for Courtney. <laughs> Barb, I just think this is the best thing for us to do right now to keep this all moving I forward. I think you really believe they broke out of prison just to see their kid try out for football? <laughs> That's what Croc told me. I have no idea. They're crazy. <laughs> what are they looking for? The shade or Calypso? Ah. <clears throat> so. Hey, nice life you got here, bud. It's <laughs> very kind of you. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. Probably why you let yourself go. Mm. Because ripped, my friend, you are not. Ah. 
Nice crusher, but uh, <laughs> I just assume Mike stays out of it. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. Ah. Ah. How's prison? Is it uh, scary or is it uh, kind of fun like the Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> <laughs> the what? Nothing. It's just a movie. <laughs> Cells a little small. Jim's great. I got visitation rights mm. with the missus. <laughs> so, none of the old gang, huh? Not even the shade? Mm. The shade? Mm. Yeah. I've seen that tea sucking <laughs> scone gobbler in years. Ah. I never liked him either. <laughs> he was not a team player. Ah. I like this. I always felt like we were on the road to becoming good friends, but yeah. what happened? Yeah, I mean, I kind of felt that way myself. I think the fact that you tried to kill me, that might have kind of put a damper on the future. <laughs> but who knows, you know, relationships are funny, right? I'm fine. Uh. You let your children eat processed foods? Uh. They're teenagers. Mm -hmm. If Mike wants to eat those things, he's going to find a way to get them. Uh. Good, nice catch. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe I'll try some. <laughs> I ordered a strawberry one. And no whipped cream on mine. Uh. Wait. Oh, sorry. Hey, you'll get the hang of it. I like chocolate too. And Rick can have my whipped cream. Great. <laughs> Diablo Island stopped appearing. Like, they didn't want anyone to go there. Mm. Why? Because no one ever came back. Mm. The legend goes, there were two warring tribes living on different sides of the island. One of the tribes summoned an evil entity of vengeance, trapping it in what sounds like the Black Diamond. Mm. He was a famous explorer in his day. So this Gordon guy found the diamond there? It doesn't say, but he was the only person who ever returned. Then what? I don't know. There's nothing online or off about Bruce Gordon after he came back from the island. Or Eclipso. I'll keep trying to get Chuck back online. Maybe he can help us open the files on Eclipso. Mm. I've got to feed the dog. Can I get a dozen cheeseburgers to go <laughs> and some fries? Are you serious? Hey, we'll all meet up after Yolanda shift. <laughs> okay. Out of here. Blue Valley High School. Dad? He was called the Fiddler. Mm. The Fiddler? Mm. Mm. I can't play that. Mm. Well, you'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> Of secrets. Not sure I have anything, but mm. everyone from Captain Cook to Robert Ripley be right back there to our left. Ah. Uh, Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I know who you are. <laughs> and I know what you're planning, Shade. <laughs> Whoa. Where'd he go? A supervillain team up. Mm. Really? That's the vast scope of your imagination? <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Icicle and brainwave. I'll ignore the insult of comparing me to those two incompetent... Ah! You're just as bad as he is. <laughs> you killed Dr. Midnight. Oh, my. And said with such conviction. You were there, <laughs> I assume. Pat was. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Dear old stripes, mm. a law broken here, rule bent there, the odd life taken. Mm. But nobody that didn't deserve it. Mm. Eclipso, on the other hand, mm -hmm. he
He killed McNider's daughter. Mm. Now look. A moment ago, you were so sure of everything. Mm. When I find the Black Diamond, I intend to throw it in the deepest, mm. darkest part of the ocean, mm -hmm. so that Eclipso may never hurt anyone ever again. Mm. I'm bored. <laughs> but really, leave this all to me. <laughs> Sit down, you watch, stay quiet. Mm -hmm. As a mouse. And then you go back. No funny business. Mm -hmm. None. Mm. Oh, man. She got a confidence back. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. <laughs> Perfect. So evil. <laughs> mm. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, we were going to, but... But you have your own dreams. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you're going to be the first female quarterback in the history of college football. My girl is. <laughs> yep. You've got a future now. Mm. We're not going to let anything get in the way of that. Mm. Including us. Mm. Hmm. This has to be goodbye. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Uh. I didn't have the chance. You could have called. Hmm. Did you think I was just gonna rush in and fight? I would have listened. Hmm. I'm not the same star girl I was last year. I get it, okay? Did you know that Eclipso killed Dr. McNider's daughter? Mm. Rebecca was 10 years old. Mm. I didn't want to scare you. I'm not scared. Mm. Mm. Is there anything else about Eclipso and the JSA? Mm. Or Bruce Gordon? What happened to him? Anonymous. Wait, what? You're incredibly talented. But your temper, I mean, we, we can't have you represent our school. I'll come. 
Rough day. What do you want? But I have another team you can join. Mm. One your parents were a part of. Mm. <laughs> oh. Everything? Mm. No. Do you think I should? Yes. I mean, I mean, we promised there'd be no more secrets, but I don't know. So we agree then? We need to protect him from the truth. Yeah. Mm. No setting tonight. We've got more important things to do. Mm. I know it's past curfew. Mm. But if Pat's not going to tell us anything else, maybe the shade will. Oh boy. Bad idea, Courtney. Great takeoff. Again? <laughs> huh. Hello? Is someone out there? <laughs> Talking about mm -hmm. where's Pat? What happened to the JF dead? Mm. To find them, been lost for years. Oh, who is this? My name is Dr. Charles McNider. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, oh, he is alive. Oh, my gosh, I, I think Dr. Midnight is alive. Yeah. Uh. Beth Chapel. Ha <laughs> you there? Ah. Uh. Hello. Ha <laughs> Hello. He's still alive. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good episode. Another good episode of Star. Star Girl Season 2. A lot of things happened in this episode. Again, we got to see, uh, again, Sportsmaster and uh, Tigers. I didn't think they'd come back to the show so quick but i guess it kind of makes sense in a way because with the new uh uh cindy forming a new group and sports mass and tigers despite their crazy killing stuff they really do love their daughter artemis and stuff that's that's the one thing that kind of shines through and i also found out today that those two actors are going to be regulars they've been bumped up to regulars so i guess they're going to come back i don't know what episode they're going to come back in but they're supposed to come back uh, before the season ends, and they're going to be regulars now, and which is kind of good because you can tell. So what I think may happen originally is um, Cindy's going to uh, recruit Artemis like she, you saw her at the end of the episode. But then again, you know, now that she knows her parents, then maybe eventually her parents will be able to talk her out of uh, uh, being on the villain side and come on to the hero side, and then Artemis will be a hero, which, uh, which would be good. Cool. So I think that's going to happen. And but that again, that picture of them showing uh, Eclipso showing Cindy the picture of the new uh, Injustice Society and and Mike there. That's that's the thing that's uh, I'm wondering what's going to be the thing. You know, it's like two strikes now. What's going to be the next thing that's going to push Mike over to the edge <laughs> and have him actually join up with Cindy and stuff? Because I think he is going to join up at least initially or stuff. You know, till they bring him back. Because I think he is gonna again feeling isolated and alone and all this stuff, and he's gonna and Cindy's gonna appeal to him, you know, that you can join our group and be cool and all that stuff, and he's gonna jump at the chance and stuff, and as long as he doesn't betray them and stuff. But now we find out also again another great thing that happened. Uh, Shade explained to Courtney how. You know, he's really after Eclipso to, you know, to, to kill him, to, you know, because he's evil and he's killed Dr. McNider's daughter, which we saw in the first episode, I believe, in that little prologue in the first episode. So we did see him, uh, uh, you know, kill that uh, Dr. McNider's, you know, because remember we saw the name, you know, he killed a little girl. And then we saw her name, you know, the, the name McNider at, at, at the mailbox. So that was Dr. Uh, McNider's daughter. So, ooh, and now we know that he is not dead because Pat thought he was dead, but he just, I guess, trapped him into a, a shadow world. Okay, and now, and now Beth knows that the real <laughs> Dr. McNider is still alive, and 
and maybe eventually they'll get him out of there. Okay, which would be cool and stuff. And she hurt for her to get to meet the real Dr. McKnight or, or Dr. Midnight. That would be cool. Okay, so a lot of good things happening there. And of course, she also recruited the Isaac, the, the fiddler, the fiddler's son. Okay, and he's already got anger issues, so he's gonna wild the joint. But the, the one I'm waiting to see him, her recruit, besides Mike, is uh, Icicle's son, because obviously he has feelings for Courtney. And I, I do wonder if she's gonna tell him, listen, this family killed your father. And then maybe he won't believe it initially because he really likes Courtney. And then maybe the grandmother who, who kind of resents <laughs> her will confirm it for him. And then that'll push him over to join the ISA. Yeah, which I think it'll probably go down that way because he really likes Courtney. So I assume he's going to come back in a future episode and maybe even go on a date with Courtney and stuff because you can tell he really likes Courtney. And and Cindy probably will, will tell him that, listen, I, they killed your father, Icicle. Okay, and he probably won't initially believe it because Cindy's been, you know, the reputation of being evil. And then the grandma, his grandmother will confirm it. And then that's when he'll he'll go over to the dark side. Okay, and become Icicle Jr., I guess. <laughs> But uh, again, this show was just amazing. And like I said, I'm glad that Sportsmaster and Tigers, I like that. They, they interacted with, uh, with Barb and, uh, and, uh, and Pat were just hilarious. And they're just, um, they're great. Those actors are good. They just own their parts. And again, the thing that you just love about them is that they really love their daughter and, and encouraging her, you know, after, you know they really, they have this, such a strong bond and I'm glad they can become regular. So I think what will happen initially is that she'll join the ISA because she'll be angry about it now that she knows that her parents are part of that and stuff. And they're going to be locked up for a while. She'll join them. And and then initially, when the, I think the parents will do something to get out or get parole or whatever and stuff. And then they'll, I don't know how they're going to get parole or something. Maybe they'll save the world or something like that. And they'll get parole and then they'll be regulars. I don't know if that's going to be part of, uh, they said they've been bumped up to regular. So I assume that's part of this season. They'll do something to uh, to get a part or something, and then they'll be around all the time. And then I think they'll bring their daughter back over to the good side. I think because it's just it's, they're just hilarious characters. Those actors are really good in the parts, and they really feel the love that they have for their daughter, Artemis. Okay, and uh, it's just great to see. Anyway, let me know what you think of this episode, uh, part four. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, Yolanda has a job, which. Uh, uh, which working in the in the malt shop, although like I, I, a lot of people speculating that uh, that she's gonna fall under the spell of Eclipso, but again I think she has to be near. I don't know when that's gonna ha if that's gonna, when it's gonna happen because remember Eclipso has to be near, uh, you know, Cindy uh, has to be near her with the diamond, and maybe she'll be recruiting somebody else, and maybe Eclipso will notice uh, Yolanda and her sadness about killing Brainwaves Senior and latch on to her and stuff. So we'll see how that happens because right now she's just feeling guilt about killing Brainwave Sr. And, but Eclipso, if, but he, because a lot of people speculate in this and I speculate to that too, that he's going to sense her, you know, her despair about killing Brainwave Jr. and maybe torment her and stuff, which will be, you know, and then, which will be really messed up, but hopefully she can overcome that. Okay. And again, I'm definitely wanting to see uh, Sydney recruit Mike, uh, which I, I know is, What's probably gonna happen? And remember, she's an older, older, you know, teenage. You know, yeah, she's an older teenage girl, and hey, come on, let's be honest. She's sexy, and maybe she'll appeal to Mike with her sex appeal and stuff. Say, listen, we'll treat you like an equal and all this stuff, and, and you know, she'll appeal to him that way. And the whole join. Although, like I said, uh, maybe Eclip maybe Eclipse will help her. <coughs> excuse me, turn him, because normally he wouldn't, but maybe Eclipse will push him over the edge. She leaves the clips and will push him over the edge and and betray the you know the JSA who, who he really wants to be a part of and then maybe that's how they'll bring his friend Jaquim Thunder who has the pin now and maybe he'll come on to help them fight and I also think the Green Lantern chick Jade will come back as well so and also we still haven't seen Starman yet I'm just wondering what episode he's gonna appear in because we have still haven't seen him yet so anyway uh great things coming I, again this is the fourth episode so we got uh Nine more episodes to go. I'm, again, I love this show. The writing is great, just on point and everything else. So I enjoy it. Anyway, let me know what you think of this episode. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And let me know what you think. And are you excited about uh, Sportsmaster and Artemis becoming regulars? I, I love that. That, that. That's a great idea in my point. Uh, Sportsmaster, not Artemis. Sportsmaster and Tigress, excuse me, becoming regulars. Okay. Uh, and I guess Artemis will too. And I think Artemis will eventually. She'll cross over back to the good side and she'll be part of the JSA. Anyway, uh, 
Let me know what you think. Feel free to leave your comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel for views and opinions. Please check that out as well. I also have a link to my patron down below. Please check that out as well. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. And again, my patron's only $5 a month. Tons of TV show reactions on there. The Mandalorian Season 2, The Boy Season 2, uh, uh, WandaVision, Loki, uh, WandaVision, I mean, Superman and Lois. <laughs> I going to say WandaVision. I said it already. Uh, uh, Starman, Stargirl, Season 1 is on there. And season 2 is on there as well. Titans, Season 3 is on there so far as well. So tons of content. Again, follow the link below. Only $5 a month. I'd appreciate it if you could support me. And this is Trey Fasser saying so long and take care.